Hello everyone, how are you guys? So today we'll try to solve lead card problem 1431. If you haven't been able to solve this one, then you can follow up my solution on this. So let's try to solve it. So the problem is we have to find the kid with the greatest number of candies. So there are n kids with candies. You are given an integer array of candies where each candies of i represent number of candies. Okay, so there will be extra candies which will be the second argument of the array of the function so okay note that multiple kids can have the greatest number of candies so what is the problem the problem is we have been given an input candies uh, array of candies so all these array of candies are student uh, which have candies so one student has two one student has three five one and three and uh, there are extra candies three so what they want us to do is they want us to return an output array which will be of type boolean so what is boolean let me explain you so boolean is uh, it's a boolean which is uh, a true or false value a true or truthy or false value written in javascript so if the argument is true like if the condition is true then it should return true otherwise it returns false and if you put all of this in an array then we can return an array of true false array of boolean so that's what they want so what they want is if to if they want they want us to add this three extra candies inside this array while we are looping through it and see that if we add two plus three five so is five greater than or equal to any other array element inside this array so yeah 5 is equal to this so yeah it should return true which means that it is greatest among all the kids or it is equal to greatest of any of other kids candies then if we next time if we add this 3 to this 3 it's gonna be 6 which is definitely greatest it will return true next time it will go to 8 3 plus 5 8 which is true next time it will 3 plus 1 4 so 4 is 4 greatest in this whole array like is the so basically this is a kid who has 4 candies 1 plus 3 but this kid has 5 greater than him so this condition is false so we want to return false here and then next time 3 plus 3 6 which is greater so we want it to be true you can see the example again and now i'll try to give you the solution how we're gonna tackle this so let's try to do this so i'll try to copy the input first so i'll copy the in input here Come on, start. yeah and i'll try to copy the output as well so the output would be this thing and we'll try to solve it now so what we want is so create a for loop yeah and uh, and also a output array which will contain all the boolean values in javascript we have advantage you don't have to define it in the beginning that what kind of value is this array gonna hold so you can literally push it to your false and after this what you want you want to store a max value of this array so you can compare it with other values right and what do we want so nothing if if it's if it's true like if in like if like candy is at i like when you're gonna loop if it's greater than or equal to that max value which you're gonna somehow get from the array then you want to return true right else you want to return false easy and then at the end you want to also push uh, if when if it's true here if it's true you also want to push it you also want to push this true in in this array this array of output this array of output so you see how we got here true false and everything so yeah so let's start to do this okay 
so we'll try to tackle this so we'll create a variable output which will be an empty array and what we'll do we'll also create a variable max so to find the maximum value as you if you have seen my previous video you know i use this math method math.max and you can use the ternary operator the ternary operator to copy the array and you can find the maximum value out of it so what do we want is candies right so now you will get after this we'll get the maximum value of from this whole candies array you just want to store that and then we want to run a for loop so for variable i equals zero i should be less than candies right candies dot length and i plus plus so we, how long we want to run this for loop is till we push all this array all the elements in in this output as true or false so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the if condition and compare if it satisfies our condition so our condition if candies at i plus extra candies because we want to compare every time if that extra candy is at is given to that kid and then if it's greater in the whole array like other than any kids if he has the greatest number of candies then we want to push it as true otherwise false so if this plus this if it's greater than equal to max right then we want to say output dot push what do we want to put we want to push we want to push the true value so you won't write it as like this you won't write it as true because if you write it like this then it's a string and you don't want to put it as string you want to put it as a boolean value what is boolean a true or false value easy and if if this find else what you're gonna do you're gonna just say output dot push a falsy value so false and after this whole for loop you just want to return the array so you will just return output that's it and now that's pretty much it i'll go through it again so what we did we created an output array and we created a variable max where we're trying to store value using mat.max so we get the maximum value so from here we got the maximum value which was five and we are in a for loop on the whole candies array we said okay if a particular candy i plus if you add that extra candy and if it's greater than equal to five then you push to it if it's not then you push false to it like if it's true then push true otherwise push false and then at the end just return the output if we run the code it should work and uh, yeah we got a runtime of 88 ms and if we try to submit it to see if it passed all the test cases yeah it did our solution is faster than 88 percent 86 percent that's all for today if you need more solution more easy solution like this and you want me to make videos on this then make sure to go subscribe my channel like my videos and comment if you didn't understand anything thank you